Oh, what a goal! What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be going back in time to look at eFootball 2022 V1.0. I'm going to be comparing the gameplay we had back then to what we have now, showing you a couple of things that I like and dislike, and of course I want you guys to get in touch in the comments below and let me know your thoughts on where the gameplay is at at the moment before the next big update. Alright lads, so we're back. We're in our time machine and we're back. This is what eFootball 2022 V1.0 looked like. So obviously a lot has changed, but not much has changed. Now if you guys want me to do a video on the kind of like the early packs and the early cards and all the ambassador stuff. I have a lot of footage uh, that I would have had collected from back when I was playing eFootball 22 when it first launched. You had a lot of the club packs that a lot of people actually that are newcomers would have never seen. Um, that these cards are still available. I still use some of these cards regularly like wan Ronaldo. This is the old school layout as well before they transitioned over to the new menu that we have now which came a little bit more recently with V uh, point, what was it, V3 or V2 point something, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments below. But we're just going to highlight one or two things um, for you guys here early on, and then we're just going to watch the video fully, right, and we're going to see kind of like the flow of the game. I feel like that the flow of the game has changed a lot from the early editions of eFootball to what we have now with eFootball 2024. And we're going to show you a really good example here. And I want your thoughts on this. This is mainly what the video is about, and we're going to play out the rest of it. Watch this clip here, right? Watch the difference in the teammate pressure and the teammate assistance. You're going to see the gaps, the spacing. When the actual chance opens up for me, you can see in the eFootball 2024 screen, I'm just completely swamped. Even though I still score both goals, you can see the difference in the teammate pressure and the teammate assistance, right? Now, as I said, this gameplay that you're seeing here is eFootball 2022, V1.0. This is the original V1.0. It's not the beta, and it's not what we had before V1.0, obviously. This clip that you're going to see, just let me know your thoughts. Honestly, this is going to feed into a future video that I'm doing, right? And it will kind of make sense in a couple of weeks' time why I'm doing this video. But for now, I'm just really eager to see your, your guys' thoughts on this. And the best comments are going to be highlighted, and they will be part of the future video that I'm doing as well. So if you've got a really good point to make, or you have something that you want to highlight, please do get in touch, and we'll be doing the video on that as well. So it's a nice way to kind of highlight, um, you know, what you guys think, right? But you can just see the flow of the game here. Like, I play a lot of possession-based football, and the, the flow of eFootball, in my opinion, eFootball 2022 was really, really good. And you'll see, even though I end up beating this guy, right, just look at the actual manual defending and the manual spacing and how little the game is actually holding the, uh, the opponent's hand defensively. He makes a brilliant tackle there. Um, you know, he slots the ball up. Now, I'm going to manually position all my players. All my assistance is doing, all my defensive line is doing, is basically just doing the bare minimum passively. They're not running into space. They're not leaving massive gaps. They're not doing anything. They're, they're pretty much a bystander, um, you know, on in the game. Now, this has obviously changed since eFootball 2024 has come out, where it, the gameplay seems to be a little bit more, well, a lot more kind of uh, pressured. So a lot of the top, top, top players, if you end up losing games, a lot of the top players will literally just let the AI kind of like cover a lot of the gaps for you and not make any mistakes. But when, the AI want, when you want the AI to win the ball back for you, it is very, very aggressive. And that can be hard for people to get used to. Now, you can pass around it, you can possession around it, as I'm doing here. This guy is manually pressing me the whole time. He's leaving lots of gaps. But the pace and the space of the game I felt in eFootball 2022, and again, this is just my opinion, was kind of really down to when you beat a man, you were kind of gone. Now, I'm going to cook him here with Corona. Lovely little uh, dribble here. Ronaldinho will take it on. I've got two options. Manually, he's going to leave gaps in the box. The AI is leaving gaps in the box, and I'm able to get across. It's another brilliant tackle there from him. He calls a teammate press, and then he mops up on aisle 11. Okay, now this is a really nice passage of play here when I'm looking back at this gameplay. He catches me on the counter. Where is my defensive AI? Nowhere to be seen, and it comes down to a manual goalkeeping save. So that whole clip there, boys kind of summed up from my experience with eFootball 22. Yes, there was a lot of stuff that I didn't like about it as well. The reaction of the players looking back at this clip, I mean, eFootball 24 now is almost too reactive. When the connection is right and you've got no input lag, you've got nothing, um, that's an issue with the game. 
like the responsiveness in this with trying to turn your players and, and putting them where you wanted to go it's not a case of looking back at eFootball 22 and saying oh this was magic you know what I mean because um, there was a lot of stuff in this version of the game that they needed to fix which they have fixed but I'm more interested in knowing your thoughts on it obviously I don't want to make this video too long I found this clip on my hard drive and I, ha I had it highlighted for a future video and that's today so I wanted to do it but you'll see here that the goals that I'm scoring there is literally no space there's like the reason why I'm scoring goals is because of the manual space that's been given to me on the pitch there's no space being granted or being closed down by the AI so let me know what you guys think I'm just curious because I wanted to do this video as a bit of a retrospective look back as to where the journey of the game has gone so i hope you guys enjoyed it it's something different if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please do we've got a load of content coming for when the next big update comes brand new overhaul of the channel and you can be along for the ride so we will so we will talk to you guys later peace